Hey, this is Tony uh, with BT Media Group, and I'm here at the World Headquarters, Tube 5 Studios. Not really World Headquarters, but I'm with Mr. Sean Whiting. How you doing, Sean? Doing wonderful. Well, good. Pleasure to be here. Good to have you here. Um, I've been seeing you all over the social media, and I thought, i got to get Sean in here and, and find out uh, the skinny on what's going on. Um, so. I'm glad to be here, and I will inform you of everything you like to be <laughs> informed of. Well, cool. Let's start off with... Uh, about loss of a microphone. Let's start off with, you got a new album coming out. I do. Can we say album? Am I, it's okay. I have a new project. We're, we're, we're in our 40s. We can <laughs> say, we, we'll say album if you want to. Well, cool. It's, uh, I mean, I've been seeing a lot, a lot of hype. Everybody, I've been seeing the shares and the like, hey, can't wait to get it. Yeah. And I've ordered it and, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, what's the release date? Let's just start off with that. May 3rd. May 3rd is yeah. coming up. Uh, yeah, it's coming. It's out via Eastwood Records, uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Um, and it's called High Expectations. And actually, we can say album because it's going to, it's, there are vinyl copies of it. Very cool. Uh, yeah. That's I mean, awesome. You know, vinyl, I just, because I'm a geek about stats, vinyl grew last year. Um, like exponentially. I did and see that. I think last year or the year before was the first time CDs declined more than vinyl grew, or there's some kind of weird thing. But vinyl is the I is the most uh, the biggest medium right now. I know. I read that as well. Uh, so it's hot, and you know you gotta. That's what the new. Hey, all these new kids that's like what the that. kids want. Yeah. <laughs> so we yeah we've got that. It'll be and there's of course to be our physical CDs um, and. But on May 3rd, the, it actually drops on all the digital right. side of things. So it's all queued up, ready to be released. Yep. Very cool. Um, how many tracks are on the album? Ten. Ten songs. Now, you recorded this one at, with the with uh, Kenny. What was yep. the name of the, what's the name of the studio? Fat Baby Studios. Fat Baby Studios. Yep. That's Fat all. Baby Studios in Whitesburg with yeah. Mr. Kenny Miles. Uh, he co-produced it. And, uh, yeah, it... Uh, of course, he, he's there from Wayne Graham. Yeah, uh, yeah. very, very great band, a very popular band. Yeah, and, yeah, for sure. Um, and killer fellas. I mean, him. And, yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't ask for better people. Yeah. Him and his brother Hayden are just, they're just outstanding Good. people. The whole family. I mean, yeah, oh, yeah. the, the studio is, uh, the studio is in uh, their parents. A very lovely home in the yeah, basement, yeah. and they're just <laughs> that's so pretty nice. cool. They, when they know you're coming, they'll. They, their mom will have dinner for you, you know. And, uh, <laughs> well, that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty cool. That's yeah, a, yeah. If you're going to record, uh, okay. So who played on the Who played on the record? Uh, I had uh, David Prince playing guitar, uh, and had Chris Justice playing bass again, and uh, and Hayden Miles playing drums on it. Very cool. And I did all the vocals and wrote the songs, and I did. Uh, I put. I did a little different this time. I have some acoustic. Yeah. A lot of acoustic guitar in it. On, on I, let, I used it mostly for the rhythm this time. Yeah, to, that's cool. And uh, I did some electric guitar work on it, but mostly it was just me playing acoustic and, and letting Dave handle all the right. all the electric guitar work. And uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a process. Everybody's schedule last yeah. year uh, kind of blew up. Kenny got married. Yeah. Uh, him and his wife. Uh, and he moved a time or two. Yes, he moved. <laughs> Uh, he, he moved from Knoxville to back to Whitesburg, and him and his wife, uh, her, her family's from California. Yeah. And they, they took a really cool trip across country, so it was like laid back, blew up for, with his video, yeah, and yeah. so his schedule got really uh, got really busy. So we we just managed to we we managed to get together when we could, and, right. and finally got it. To, you know, I always people down. always say like, why does it take so long to record? You know, it's just sixty minutes of music, and but it really, you know, I understand why you see these big bands say it took a year and a half uh, to record an album sometimes because even just us, you know. Just we're just yeah. Pike and Johnson County, just logistics and getting people together and schedule. Exactly. Next thing Everybody's you know, got their life, own lives yeah. going on, you know. Yeah, and you know, months go by, but yeah. uh, you know, it's there's a good part of that too because you can really sit back and and listen to what you've done, the direction you're in. Sometimes you know, if you're off for two weeks and not recording or a month, you can maybe decisions are you know made exactly. and things are changed. So that's cool. Well, I can't wait to check it all out. And you wrote all the songs on it, Mister. You're just a 
a songsmith, aren't you? I struggle so hard writing no, songs. No, no, no. You just, I'm, I'm, you emote. You're good, man. I love no, it. I love man. it. I am a lazy songwriter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just write. Uh, honestly, the, with me, um, I'm fortunate that the music part of things comes to me fairly fairly easy. I right. can sit down and come up with something usually that I like pretty well. Uh, it's always lyrically I, I'm challenged, uh, right. you know, because I never know exactly what I want to say. Right. Um, and I, I'm, you know, I, I'm. I like to to leave things. I don't know. I just like to however I'm feeling in that moment. Yeah. You know, that's how that's how I write. Yeah. However I'm feeling in that moment, I'll go with it and. Sometimes I have an idea that I work toward, but other times I just let it. I so just let, let it happen. You, let know? me ask you this: Do you are you one of those guys that you sit down and you and you write a song, or do you sit down and pick up? You know, like you had this line here, this verse here, sometimes, and you, really? sometimes I do. Uh, I'm see, that guy. I'm like digging through every note I, in the world, going, "What rhymes with lazy?" You know, and just trying to yes, find. I, I'm, I'm <laughs> I wish both. I had a killer story to tell. I, I do both. It's like well, it cool. seems like the best. My best songs that I've written, I usually have written within about a half an hour. That's awesome. That's and then that's really the case, and I don't and I don't know where those come from. Right. You know, it's just like I got. I feel like I just got lucky. I yeah. plucked it out of the cosmos. Yeah. And but there's several other times and several other songs that I've written that I've done that that I've worked on for who knows I've just been yeah. I've been might have been piddling around with that riff for six months to a year or longer and then exactly I may have written a few lines here and there and just kind of put it down and come back to it it's strange how that formula how I, it comes together I just know? don't like to I'm just very much one of those people that don't like to force it right and I respect I respect people though that do sit down right and, and they have pick. discipline and are like I'm going to write a song right every day yeah, you know, and I, I can't. Kudos imagine. to them. Yeah, man. you know, you see, you you see, like a Neil Young that's got seventeen hundred songs in the books and things like that. You know, it's kind of crazy, not to get too existential, but you know, you've got that those thoughts, that that thing, and it's out there now, starting May third, forever. You know, right. kids and family, and it's going to be out there, and and something that you put out in the world is is there and can't go away. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it is. It's like we, you know. We can possibly through the songs. Just it's like Roddy Van Zant said it many yeah. years ago that we we live right on yeah. you know, through these songs, and it's that's a, cool. It is cool. It's a good yeah. feeling. Uh, yeah, it's our own. I don't know. I guess it's our own little uh, taste piece of, of the, the universe, really. Yeah, our, our p taste of immortality. Yeah. Yeah, um, we just got deep, man. That's pretty yeah, good. Man. Just leave it to me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you there, man. If you want to go. <laughs> well, uh, so you say this is getting released through Eastwood Records. Yeah. How? What kind of? How's that experience been working with uh, a label? And it's been really good. It's been totally uh, uh, just uh, uh, something that I've never experienced before. You right. know, as having help. Uh, yeah. And it's a good feeling. It is. It's yeah. great to know you have like a support system, kind of like, isn't it? I mean, to know that you, that uh, they're they're on your side, you know, yeah. pushing this thing, and the the success of it, you know, they're they've invested in that, exactly. so they want it to be a success exactly. as much uh, as you they, do. That's the that's the key. Yeah, uh, it's a, an, uh, an investment, and it, they inv decided to invest in me and right. and, and my music and. Uh, it's a good feeling. Yeah. It's a really good feeling. And, yeah, man, to say, uh, you know, Sean Whiting of Eastwood Records, you know, you forever have a new uh, uh, um, announcement. You know, when somebody's bringing you on stage, they can say that. That's yeah, cool. yeah, exactly. And it, it's just now I've had like, uh, it's just been surreal kind of to have, uh, you know, have a uh, PR team and, yeah. and, and, uh, and having folks that are taking care of things that normally I would take care of, yeah. and I'm a very much controlled freak. So uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I had my, I've had my, like, uh, do, you know, should I take care of this myself? Right. You yeah. Know? Oh but God. Like, yeah. Sometimes you gotta let go. Yeah. You exactly. can focus on other things and let them take care of exactly. that stuff. It's great. I've been seeing, uh, like I said, I, when we first started talking in the news feeds, obviously everybody's Facebook everything, but I've been seeing all kinds of positive things and reviews, and and I can tell 
that you know there's people behind that that's give, that's helping right. you get uh, pushed and uh, it's I love seeing a local fella that's getting reviews and and you see uh, the PR side of it on a professional level you know yeah. and the wording choices are good and it's cool it, it, so that's and that means a lot yeah it? yeah for sure um, uh, so May third it's coming out you're. You're going to be doing some vinyl. There's CDs. It's going to be worldwide. I mean, it's. I'm pretty pumped about this. What uh, is there a single that's going to come out? Uh, like, is there something that you're pushing or just? Well, we started out the first song to get a. Uh, we got a track premiere with uh, Glide magazine of uh, a song called Melody, um, and uh, we've uh, been trying to put it out on Spotify, but right. as a lot of folks may know, um, sometimes that's a difficult thing for things to go as planned with yeah, these digital yeah. uh, these digital platforms. Right. Uh, there was a couple mix-ups with the artwork or something. You know, most of the time it's done not by an actual person. Oh, it's, no, it's yeah, it's algorithms automated. and yes. automation. And, uh, and we should have, we want, actually wanted the single to be out already, but due to some complications, it, it's. I think it's in queue to be out this week. Okay. Uh, and but I've had a few other song premieres. Uh, we're going to try to push melody. Um, and I've had a, a track premiere uh, the other day. I guess it was Tuesday. Um, uh, just the same. Uh, that was with Americana UK. Awesome. So we were pushing that. Uh, had another track that we uh, put out um, called uh, Oh Well. Um, that was with Americana Highways. So we're just trying to slowly get... Yeah, yeah, get the, the word out and the different songs. I was yeah. just listening to a guy, a, a podcast the other day uh, from a Nashville producer, and he said, we live in the time of singles and new content. And so he was talking about, you know, it isn't, uh, you don't push an album anymore per se. You push the individual songs on the album. Right. And so that's kind of what you're doing. You know, you're... This this reviewer or this outlet's getting this song. This one's getting this song. You know. Yeah. And I, people, man, uh, nowadays they're so short. Uh, uh, their memory span is exactly. so short. Their attention exactly. span. The attention span. Yeah. Very short so these give days. them new content. Um, that is exactly the same thing I've heard from several other people. Is yeah. That you know it's uh, you got to push hard uh, on a for a single really if you are doing an album. You know I've heard that that. Not many people do albums anymore, and it's strange, just, isn't it? I mean, it is, I, cause I, that's, I have to have a. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I, it's I hard. The same way. Yeah. I, I, uh, it's just something. It's a project you work yeah. on, and you put. There's some time a start in it. and an end, and there's a vibe, and you're like, this is a thing, you know. Yeah. But it's an ever-changing industry, and Gosh, yes. in order to be successful, you got to change with it. Yeah. So. Speaking of the industry, you've had a little bit of a. a a hiccup because you unfortunately were drug into the whole pledge music thing yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that and uh, I mean, and I've seen hundreds and hundreds of artists talk about it that are that struggle with owed seventy thousand dollars and some things. So you did that whole pre sale thing, and then they just uh, they basically took the money and took, ran. Took the money and ran. Yeah, they sure did, man. Uh, well, you, I think you got out in front of it. Uh, like the perfect way and you wrote a big post to explain the whole situation and if you know and I, I'm not if you notice obviously you notice your comments but everyone was totally on your side and understood and I'm sure that made you feel good yeah, absolutely because that's what concerned me man was like I it, it, you know I wasn't so sure about doing that anyway right um, you know and I, it's a pride thing but I was like you know I Sometimes you need a little help, and yeah, man. And so it's like these giving people an opportunity to, you know, to support right. and, and to pre-order things and be a, be a part of the process. Yeah. And so I had I had a lot of folks that great folks that are are supporters and and pre pre-ordered the album and, and merch and stuff like that. And so the way Pledge Music is set up, you're paid in three tiers, right? And once you're you have a goal that you've set, and once your goal is met, you're supposed to get sixty percent of your goal. Right. And then once you release um, your your digital downloads to everybody, you'll get like another. Uh, I think uh, you get another twenty five percent. And then once all the once all the merch and everything's right. been, it's been fulfilled, it's been fulfilled yeah. you get the rest. 
And so, you know, I met my, my I started my campaign like in last October, yeah. uh, December, I uh, met my goal. Uh, January rolled around. Uh, I never did see anything. And right. everyone's cards, you know, they, they put their card on hold, and whenever it's met, they charge their card. Yeah. Everybody's card was charged in December. So I reach out to them, and I'm like, hey, is it typically, you know, is this does it take this long? They gave me a, a, a reasonable answer. They said, well, due to the holidays, we right. had a large backlog, um, and our finance department wasn't in. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll let you know as soon as we... We'll, we'll have things squared away. I, and I bought that, and I was right. like, okay, that's understandable. Yeah. Then time went on some more, and I was like, I still haven't heard anything. Yeah. Oh, and my then, gosh. And then late, late January, uh, a friend of mine happened to see the Rolling Stone post, is that yeah, it? And sent it to me and was like, dude, uh, hey, man, you need to see this. <laughs> and like, oh, great, just my luck. I'm yeah. in the middle of this. So yeah. here we are. Uh, you know, today is what, April the 17th, yeah. 18th, um, and I've yet to see a dime of that. That's awful. And and it just broke my heart that, not that I have, didn't get any money out of right. it, but oh, yeah. that the folks that were trying to support me yeah. they haven't gotten, they had their money taken. Yeah, and yeah. I'm like, how do I fix this? So I just decided that I'll just... Where I'll be the one to worry about that, and mm -hmm. I'll just do my best to try to get people whatever they ordered. Right. And and I if I ever and I'll be the one that has to deal with the lawsuit right. or whatever it may be, and I'll take that hit because it's just not right. Yeah. And that's I feel like that's the right thing to do. For yeah, and you know, and like I said, you handled it great, and the they're your fans. You know, we don't like to say fans, kind of, but they're your fans. They bought and the product. My and, friends, yeah, yeah, friends and family and fans, and they supported you. They they right. love you. They wouldn't have bought if they didn't. So they the understanding. I mean, I felt like you were at a hundred percent. Everyone was like, "Dude, we hate this happened to you." you and know I, what and I, mean? I had a feeling that, that had to make you feel really nobody, good. Though. Anybody that if I try to be as real as I can. With right. Everybody. I don't like to play games with anyone about anything. Right, I right. want to be upfront and honest. And I just, I, I, I feel like if people may get that from me anyway, if they don't know me very well, is right. that I'm not going to try to, to, to who do anybody? No, yeah. And but I, I, I worried about that a little bit. But I, fortunately, oh, yeah. you know, I feel like everybody that was involved knows me and knows that I. That's oh, the last yeah. thing that I ever would want to do. So it's all going to work out in the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, it totally is. And the high, and the the album hop is still there. And there's like I said, it happened. You 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 explained it all, and then everyone just kind of moved on. We're just still waiting for March third. We're just right. I mean May third. We're it, just ready. Everything for the, just happened so crazy. It's like if anything, you know, think, there's been a lot of a lot of. Uh, kinks throwed in this but right. it's all going to work out in the end and if yeah. it's one thing it's just taught me to just just let things just roll off of me and go on for it, sure you know, it, yeah you could have just like completely locked up and shut down mentally over this whole deal I, 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 rightfully I, so and it, there's been times that it's been close <laughs> i won't lie <laughs> uh, but you know it all worked out yeah. it's like it turns out you know this happened but thankfully Right around the end of the campaign, Eastwood Records got involved. Yeah, and, you know, and so I signed with them, and that, and by by that happening, things are still going to come out. Yeah, we've been able to build a little bit more steam, you know, and yeah. a little more momentum about the whole thing, and uh, so it's all it's all going to work out just fine. Awesome. And I'm and I'm just I'm tickled and happy to be here talking to you about it. Yeah, you know? for sure. Well, um, what uh, let's just then uh, let's just move on to what you got. What's going on for 2019? You got shows in the books and yeah, the, and all kinds of stuff. The up. the release show is on May 9th at the Burl. Um, Very cool. And it's going to have uh, Luna and the Mountain Jets and Wayne Graham. Um, and then see, there's another little thing that a uh, little mix up in this in the, that happens. Uh, there was accidentally I had the date originally confirmed at Cosmic Charlie's. Um, they had a mix up with with uh, scheduling and. I ended up being able to work something out with the Burl on the same night. Oh, good. And there's a band that happened to already have that date um, out of Austin, Texas, called the Ghost Wolves, and they were extremely, uh, uh, they were extremely nice, and were like, were cool for us to just jump on that with them. Hey. So you know, it all cool. worked out good. So they're going to close out tonight. They're a really high energy 
a uh, rock and roll two-piece band. Two-piece. They're two-piece drummer and guitar player. Right. And they've got, I, from everything I've seen, they've got a huge sound for, for a awesome. two-piece. So it looks, well, it that works be a, out, a really good show. Yeah. Um, so that'll be on May 9th for that. May 11th uh, will be my hometown, uh, will be my hometown release show that is at the uh, uh, Jenny Wiley Amphitheater for the Music Rules Fest. That's Very gonna cool. be so we've that night there is uh Chelsea Nolan's playing, uh Leah Blevins, I think Waylon Nelson is playing, Arlo McKinley's playing. Yeah, that's gonna be a good night. Uh, Jocelyn and the Sweet Compression. So that's I think gonna be we're a really gonna, good show. I'm gonna be down there taking some pictures and filming and some stuff and so that'll be a good night for um, sure. That will be that'll be a good night. Um Got some more dates. Like I'll play at the V Club, I think, the week after that. Oh, so you're um, just, I mean, just staying got, busy. I mean, you're you're a you're a hardworking fella. You're. I'm really excited. I'm on the Mount, uh, on the Master of Musicians Festival this year. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Jason Isbell is one headline on that. So I'm really. Anytime you're on a poster that's spread nationwide with yeah. Jason Isbell, you know what I mean, and those kind of yeah, people, I, that's a good thing. Yeah, it's a very good thing. Yeah. I'm very excited. I'm very. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man. Well, listen. Uh, I kind of strong armed you when we before the cameras rolled that you're gonna let me play a, a song uh, at the end of this um, interview kind of as we play out some or part of a song. What what song are you gonna let me uh, show all the people watching the millions around the world that's gonna be checking this interview out? Um, you know, I think for you, I, there's a song on here that um, that is just. Uh, for me, it's just pure, uh, I don't know where it came from, but it was just rock and roll. Awesome. And uh, it's called Stir Crazy. And I, and I feel like that would- That's uh, the one. I know you're a rock and, you're a rock and roll guy. Yeah. And uh, um, I'll, uh, I, I just really like the way that one came. It cool. Well, out. we'll, and, we'll uh, tease everyone with a little bit of Stir Crazy then on the yeah, way man, out of let's, this. Let's, let's let the folks hear some of that one. It's, okay. a, it's a very hard driving, it's a good driving song, I'll put it awesome. that way. I, I base everything on windows down and just... Uh, Me too, man. <laughs> Me too. That's, that's my happy place. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, we're, we'll, All we'll, right. we'll, we'll, we'll let people hear a little bit of Stir Crazy. All right. Well, Sean, I appreciate you coming down and hanging out and... Uh, Hopefully, uh, I'm looking forward to May 3rd. High expectations, going to be awesome. And everybody needs to go check it out. Uh, Spotify, Amazon, Google, uh, iTunes. Yeah, it'll be on all It'll be everywhere. But uh, so we have a debut of a song that uh, it's a little special for us, rock and roll, uh, Stir Crazy. So guys, check this out. And thanks for hanging out with us. Mr. Sean Whiting, thank you. Thank you. All right. Oh, <laughs> 